Okay, guys, we're here at Estark. Uh, I've only been able to get a test run to work with this once, so you may end up seeing a fail shot, but at least you'll see the general strategy. So here's my levels. I got Blacka at 55, Gutrude at 58, Jayla at 56, and Kim at 52. Here's our general stats here. Don't worry about the armor, I'll go over that in a moment, but yeah, Wacka is going to be whacking it, that is his big thing, and he's going to be the primary attacker in this. Uh, Gutrude is basically just going to be pure Sage Stone, that's all Gutrude gets to do. Uh, she, she, while she can, she might every now and then be able to attack, she's generally not going to. Uh, Jayla is going to be the mixed heal and attacker at, depending on the times and all that. Um... They, she has a very really good attack, not as good as uh, Wacka's, which is, but she also can sometimes will be using uh, mid heal or support spe support items and whatnot. And then Kim is going to be basically just multi healing almost the entire time. I think there might be just like one or two times where uh, she may or may not attack, but it's very rare. Now, for items, here's what we got uh, for Wacka. Great Bow is the strongest single target attacking weapon he's got. I also have the Meteorite Arm Bracer just so that he can actually go and attack at times. Um, I was debating on giving him the Hella's Armor to to help resist the breath attacks. The problem is that then he'd always be slower and going last. So that's an option if you want to go over defense because Hella's Armor, it's cursed. It lowers, it lowers your agility to zero, but it gives you breath resistance by 30. So it's not bad, but Wacka's got so much HP that generally he shouldn't need it. Also, when Desperate Heat, we will be having him Yigli or, or Elfin Elixir, but generally he's almost always going to be attacking. Now, here we have Gutrude, Silver Shield, and Metal King Sword, and Flowing Dress. Flowing Dress and Silver Shield is mainly just so that... Uh, for their breath resistance, really, it's the only breath resistance they can get. The breath of damage is the worst that's going to happen here. They, she will be mostly just sage stoning. Every once in a blue moon, she might attack, but generally, she'd be sage stoning, using Yigdu in the more dire of circumstances, and then these are just just in case Yig leaves and uh, Elfin Lights are li most likely not going to be able to use them though. It's most likely going to be. Uh, be Jayla. Jayla will have more times and opportunities, but we picked up the war drum, so Jayla's gonna be spamming this anytime it's not on, because we need to get as much damage as possible for Wacka since uh, we won't always have two people attacking at all times, let alone barely any three. Uh, so, yeah. And then, of course, Elfin Elixirs and Yig Leaves. I'm actually going to do this real quick and trade uh, Elfin Elixir with the Yig Leaf because it's more likely that we need Jayla to do reviving. Uh, Guchu is most likely going to die. I just leveled them up until she had at least 300 HP, which seemed to be decent, but it's still tough. She dies the easiest, unfortunately. Uh, anyway, and for Kim, Flowing Dress, Copa Claw, Hermes Hat. I have a Dark Shield, but it honestly doesn't help that much, but it's more of a if there's a moment to spare, but there almost never will be. The biggest thing here is the Rebirth Stone. Um, if I have to sacrifice Kim once, that's fine, but after that, you gotta prioritize Kim. Also, the Staff of Salvation to help save a little bit of MP at times, uh, but otherwise, a bunch of Elven Elixirs, one Yig Leaf, just because it's more likely that they're going to need to be healing more than they're going to be able to revive. So, yeah. That's our group. Another thing I meant to do, but I forgot. I did this in the middle of the fight when I was testing. We're actually going to put Gutrude in the back because they are the most susceptible to dying. Everyone else has a decent amount of HP or resistances. Jailcat especially. Uh, Jayla is going to have very good ice resistance, but the fire, she does not have much. Anyway, yes, this Stark, we're here to destroy you. Let's hope we don't have bad luck. I'm just going to fast forward that little walk. All right, attack, war drone, drum. Not worth doing a dark shield, honestly. I'm just gonna have her attack, yeah, Kim attack, and Gutru doesn't have any setup. Don't bother with Kabup, just attack. Oh, of course. 
good starting damage. All right, and here comes the ouchies right away. You two are going to attack, you're going to multi-heal, you're going to Sage Stone. We want to get as much damage as possible out there. Okay, that's fine. That's not very fine. You are going to attack. I'm going to have you spare a mid-heal over at Gutrude's direction, because you need to full heal and you need to Sage Stone. Okay, that actually wasn't that bad at all. Attack, attack. You actually get away with using Staff of Salvation, and you're just going to Sage Stone. We actually want him to Disruptive Wave because it wastes turns and it's less times he's attacking us. Spell damage doesn't hurt too much either. Uh, it's the Breath that's going to kill us because we don't have Insulate. Uh, let me see... Yes, you're going to have to help mid-heal. Unfortunately, Sage Stone only does around 50 to 70 HP. Multi-heal at least does around 100-ish. Close to 100, at least. That mid-heal was absolutely needed. I think we need it again. Yeah, if uh, Gutru's below uh, 100, got a mid-heal. Jayla may run out of MP herself, but if it do happens, it happens. I didn't have it happen for me yet, but all right, that's okay. And that's okay. Okay, we can handle that. You're going to War Drum. I think you can actually attack, because Sage Stone will cover us pretty well. Good. Yeah, Kim doesn't attack that well, but it's still something. Okay. Ugh, damn. Yeah, well, I basically just sacrificed... Had Kim attack, so Jayla couldn't this turn, I think. Ugh. It was bound to happen, though. Multi-heal and Sage Stone. Wacka may die if he gets focus-fired at some point here. Uh, that's not okay. If he could frizzles, that's wonderful. We're okay, okay. Ooh, actually, no. You have to mid-heal Wacka. You need to multi-heal. You need to Sage Stone. Okay. That's good. And out, ouch. That's not that bad. You just have to wave, so I got a war drum. I'm actually just I think I'm better off just being playing it safe and multi-healing. I don't think it was necessary, but I feel like I should. Ah, Wacka I just realized Wacka outsped the thing. Uh that's not too bad. You're gonna attack. You're gonna have to multi-heal Sage Stone though. Because Wacka can, again, he can take some damage, okay. Okay, we're still good. Oops. Sorry. I'm used to Gutru being second, so... <laughs> uh, but yeah, I actually had to take Gutru off of the, uh, the the slime armor from before that he did self-healing, because it just was not enough. They needed breath resistance. Oh, God, yeah. All right, you need to help heal... Gucci still might die. Mm. Two, three, four. Sorry, I find counting comforting. Okay, we're okay. You two can attack. You're gonna have to send out a full heal, and you're gonna Sage Stone. Gucci is almost never going to not uh, Sage Stone. Good. Yeah. Again, Kafrizzles and disruptive waves are actually useful. Hmm. Attack. I think you have to self-heal. Actually, I'm going to not, and I'm going to have you say, uh, yeah, you have to Elf and Elixir them. You're going to multi-heal, you're going to Sage Stone. And we got to just pray that she doesn't die, basically. 
if she doesn't get attacked direct okay ah never mind well, that's actually not bad at all go ahead and full heal you mm. you know what you can attack because Wacka could take it Wacka's probably gonna need a full heal soon but that's okay This feels like a Yigdu scenario. Hmm. It might be early, but yeah, I think I'm going to do Yigdu. So these three attack, and you're going to Yigdu. Get, that's basically extra damage moment, but that's about it. Because we also have the drum up. Okay. You can get away with just a full heal, and you stage step. But yeah, I'm kind of glad that Jayla has that mid heal to help us. In fact, I got a. Oh, okay, that's not too bad. You have to war drum. You do not have to. Do you... you do not have to multi heal. Okay, because Jayla should be able to survive it. The fire breaths our worst enemy here. Two, three, four. Yep. So I count. I don't know why I'm counting. There's no reason for me to be counting. I just kind of do that out of habit. Uh, I think you're okay to attack. Yeah. Uh, Wacka might be slightly in danger. That's about it. Because, yeah, otherwise we're okay. I'm so glad that Jayla has all that uh, resistance to uh, ice, though. <laughs> All right, Wacka, attack. You're going to do that. I think multi heals got to be a thing here. It, you probably could get away without it, though. Actually, I think, you know what? Save some MP, do that, and then Sage Stone. Because it's mostly Gucci. Oh, boy. Yeah, he's in danger. Okay. You're going to have to mid-heal him, multi-heal, Sage Stone. And we got to hope he doesn't get attacked twice, basically. But if that's a, that happens, then everyone else is okay, so... That mid-heal... Oh, jeez. He actually attacked twice. Wow, what an asshole. You're going to have to... Do you have to mid-heal yourself? I think we can get away without it. Because you're going to full... Oh, jeez. I thought I hit the button. You're going to full heal... You're going to Sage Stone. Okay. Oh boy, Jayla might die. Yeah, Jayla dead. Damn it. I should have mid-healed. And I should have saved that Yigdu. Alright. You... You revive Jayla. You're going to full heal... Hmm... Wacka has the best chance of surviving it than other than Gutrude, and Kim has a revive thing. So you're going to do that, and you're going to Sage Stone. Ah, oh. Damn. Alright, well that went that. There went that. You're going to have to... You're going to have to be the reviver. You revive Wacka. You're going to full heal. Sage Stone for safety? Hmm. Debating on what you should do, actually. Oh, boy. Kabuff or... Because that won't work. Kabuff is unnecessary because the breath damage is really what's going to be doing it. I could throw... Just throw an elephant elixir on Jayla for shits and giggles, I guess. Mm. You know what? Sage Stone anyway. Just, just better off. But we're in some deep shit. Right? He only attacked once. I think he was supposed to disrupt a wave or something. I don't know. I think something messed up with his AI. He only attacked once. He's supposed to attack twice, just about all the time. Uh, you're gonna have to war drum, even though it. It's basically a wasted turn. You're gonna you can attack and you could sage stone. 
Ah, oh, you beat Wacka. Well, at least Kim got to attack. Want to kaboom again? All right, that's not bad. You two can get away with attacking. You just need to full heal yourself. You need to Sage Stone. Oh boy. Okay. Um, that was D2 singular attack, so I think. Uh, yeah, Sage Stone will actually cover you. You actually don't really need to full heal, but I'd rather you full heal anyway. Yeah, there we go. Okay. You're gonna mid-heal yourself, just because I'm I'm paranoid now. <laughs> Multi-heal Sage Stone. If you hear some noises in the background, that's my dogs. They decide to stay in the room with me today. <laughs> okay, that's fine. You can attack Wacka. Hey, that's perfectly good now. All right, you're gonna attack, attack. You, you, he doesn't really, she doesn't really need to, but I'd rather keep our HP up, so I'm gonna do it, give it to Wacka. Okay, a lot of singular attacking here. Go ahead and say, uh, salvation yourself and Sage Stone. More attacks means sooner this will get done. Okay. Okay, this is the big one. You're gonna have to mid heal Gutrude, multi heal, and Sage Stone. Ugh. This is a this is a very long and agonizing process. Uh hmm. That sucked. You are going to mid-heal yourself. Multi-heal. Oh, wait, no, because you, you can't multi-heal. So you have to full heal, and you're going to Sage Stone. Oh, wow, you finally Disruptive Waved. Hmm. That's okay. You can War Drum. Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to full heal Sage Stone. Yeah, baiting out the disruptive waves fine. I love the kabooms. That's fine. Okay. You guys can attack. You're going to full heal and you're going to Sage Stone. Kaboom. Sage Stone covers most of ka Kaboom, so. We got him! Ooh, sorry, I just scared the dogs. <laughs> awesome. Okay. Yeah, I would say probably. You need a little bit more higher levels than that, but uh, or just one person with insulate. But we did it. We got through the game with Wacka, Jayla, Kim, and Gutrude, aka our Brownie, Jail Cat, Chimera, and Slime. I'm pretty proud of that, honestly. They are mostly beginner or like early, early uh monsters here. I don't. I have uh, plans for the next, for my next uh, monster parties, but I'm I'm realizing I'm gonna have to rebalance some of these. I need to make sure there's always at least an extra two people able to heal, or maybe someone with Omni heal. That might work, hmm. uh, but we'll see. Anyway, guys, I hope you enjoyed this little monster adventure. There'll be probably another monster adventure coming up after this one. So, uh, I still think uh, just so you know, my final thoughts would be like that. Not having someone immune to... I'm going to lower the music just a little bit here. Uh, not, not having someone immune to Paralyze was really terrible. Uh, the the Lodger fight was still probably worse. This one was more of an endurance, though, I would say. It was still tough, don't get me wrong. But this one felt more possible. <laughs> so... Definitely always make sure you have someone immune to paralyze, at least one, which is what the next party is going to have. So, <laughs> anyway, I shall see you in the next one, guys, and I hope you enjoyed this. Bye bye.